Hello everyone, so I've been running around for a couple hours in the Mistlands, trying to figure out what to do. At first I thought, what if I just mine the swords and shields that are around the place? You know, I thought they would be the next source of ore. Well, it turns out they give scrap metal, which is great, because iron is kind of a pain to get, but not really what I'm looking for. So after looking it up, turns out you need something called sap. Now in order to get sap, you need something called an extractor, which as you can see, is made by Yggdrasil wood, black metal, and the dwarf's extractor. The extractor you can easily get by finding a like dwarven-ish house, and they usually have a little box inside, but be careful because if you take it, they will become aggressive. Now this is an object you cannot take through portals, meaning I had to find a way to get black metal there. Luckily for me, there was a plains nearby, so I could easily just get the black metal from there. And you can get the iron to get the smelters and everything. So it actually worked out pretty well. And after you get the extractor going, you get something like sap. I thought that was it. You know, big problem solved. No, turns out that after you get sap, you still need to refine it to actually do anything with it. For that we need black marble, more black metal, Yggdrasil wood, five black cores, and some of the sap. Getting the black marble, however, is pretty easy. There's these random structures around, as well as petrified bones, and they give you black marble. Black cores are found in dungeons. These dungeons are called infested mines, and they're filled with seekers. Seekers on their own aren't that tough, but fighting a couple and getting hit into a two-star, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Anyway, there are secret rooms that you can unlock by hitting some runes on the wall. You get inside and there's your black core. I looted two of these and I got ten of the cores, which is everything we're going to be needing today, luckily. Now, I will admit all of this is kind of a pain. You have these seeker soldiers, which are extremely tough. I found a two-star and he broke my shield, half-killing me while I, was where, while I had the bone mass power-up active. So I led him to a couple of locks, he could easily destroy the locks, and they flip in fueling village afterwards and still had a half HP left. Anyway, that's everything that you need to know to get up to speed of what I've been doing in the last couple of hours. Let's start by creating some of these new items. So let's see, there's both the Ether Refinery, which I wanted to make. This is for the Sap, I'm pretty sure. And then the Black Forge, which seems to be the new crafting station. So we're going to be crafting both of these, so I'm very glad that I got exactly 10 cores. Oh, we got some bolts. Oh no, I see a, I see a mosquito. I see a mosquito! I'm panicking! Alright, let's run into the house and get some food in us real quick. That is. Okay, we're safe. This is not how I wanted this to start. Right, we should be good enough, because we survived with 25 HP, which is honestly something I didn't expect. That's the first time I think we got a mosquito in here. Now, I've been using this base for a long time. The bird is all the way up there. Sap needs to go in here. It doesn't seem to be powered, or is it? It doesn't seem to spin or anything. Does something need to go on top, maybe? Like, it was on top, right? So, who knows? If a refinery, add item. What is this? What, what do we have to do here? Okay, so we need to figure out what goes in there, then. Crafting station needs a roof. Yeah, I forgot that this game worked like that. Alright, well, it didn't seem to connect with any of those items, anyways. Uh, we have a perfectly large room in our house for some reason, where we don't do anything. Alright, so we got some lanterns, and then a bunch of new arrows and bolts. There should also be a crossbow, but I guess we need to figure out how to get that thing to refine. I should get everything we can get in that biome that I know of. Soft tissue. Yeah, that was kind of what I was afraid of. What did it shoot out? Alright. So soft tissue is something you get from the dwarves. Alright, so I created a refined ether ball, which actually came with a bunch of items. Alright, comes with new armor as well. Is it better? 32, and that gives 32 as well. Okay, yeah. So this is fully upgraded, but this is not, so this is just the next uh, set of armor that we're going for. Yeah, it turns out we're going to need a lot of these items, aren't we? Is the machine just destroying itself, or...? No, it's destroying my house. Huh. So in total, it seems like we would need 80 soft tissue, and we got 8, so we're one-tenth of the way. So let's head out there, and let's see if we can beat some dwarves up. Also, something to note is the glow of this ancient root is uh, fading, which means it is not collecting sap as fast as it could be. We would have to go to a new sap location, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. Oh, look at that. He is gonna fight it for us. The troll's kind of, um, 
Ooh, we actually dealt quite a good amount of damage to it. Ooh, the troll might actually kill this guy. Ooh, it is so close though. A battle for the ages to be sure. Ooh, he dodged that attack. Man, this guy's running. Now the troll's after us. Come on, kill each other. For my kin, and then I kill him. Backstabbed. Man felt betrayed. Hmm, he didn't drop the soft tissue. Well, I guess he was no softy. Now let's see if we can get him up to like a more proper land for us, but I guess it doesn't work that way. There we go. If he doesn't drop blood, soft tissue, I don't know what does anymore. He dropped black like, marble though. Come on, get out of here. I honestly thought I got it from them before, but maybe I didn't? Alright, let's just figure out where to get the soft tissue from then. Actually, let's dump everything at base first, because I'll probably die again. Alright, so it turns out I was right. They do drop the soft tissue, but it won't be the primary uh, it won't be the primary way to get it. So there are some excavation signs where we can get it. However, over here I saw a random skull and one of the birds pop up there. While it didn't do that when I was at the ribcage, so I'm guessing maybe there is some in there, and that's why the bird popped up. Let's hope so, because uh, from what I've seen, it seemed like there's quite a bit of soft tissue in that. And then the only problem would be the sap. The sap doesn't seem to be that big of a problem. Alright, so... This is just a ribcage. Did I mark it incorrectly, or...? No, there's a skull around here, too. Okay, good, good. Yeah, here he is again. I hear him, at least. I don't see where he is. Oh, he's down here. Um, he was here? Well, in either case, it doesn't really matter, as long as we can see the sweet, sweet insides. Oh, hell yeah, we got the mother loads. So this is what we need, you need to find the skulls. I doubt we'll be getting 80s worth. But hey, already finding where the stuff is located is good enough for me. Ah, there we go. This one seems to be partially in the ground. Which probably affects the rate at which we're getting it. How many did we get so far? Almost half. I think if we get it all, that would basically be half. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we got exactly 40. Which is, I think... Nope, there's more of it here. You know, every time I think we got all the soft tissue, I just dig a little deeper just to be sure. And lo and behold, there is more. <laughs> Man, we just broke the entire pickaxe on it. Oh no, that's not good, actually. Yeah, that might be a problem. I didn't think about that one. Huh. Because we can't build our way out of here now. Yikes. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I got myself stuck here now. <laughs> the only thing that can break this wall is the black metal pickaxe. You know, I have another idea. Well, alright. I'm in my other world. And that's honestly probably why you can visit other worlds. I haven't been on this one in a while, though. But then again, all we need is some wood and we're out of here. But I honestly... Do not remember uh, where we I left everything, because again, it's been ages since I've been here. Alright, I guess I just have to find a regular tree and chop it down. I don't think we can repair our black metal pick here. Oh, we can! Huh. Alright, that helps out too then. That's crazy, because I haven't really upgraded this one almost at all. Alright, well, see so you guys back in uh, our own little world. Well, we were lucky there that we have the other worlds, because if we, that wasn't a thing that we could do in this game, we definitely would have been softlogged. Imagine it's been like a hundred hours in this world, right? And then we could just get softlogged. <laughs> That'd be so sad. Okay, I think we have gotten all the way to the uh, bottom here. All right, we're gonna have to dig out a bit. We almost got four or eighty of this soft tissue, though. Now I will say, I think for the black marble, the rib cages are probably better. All right, there is a big crawly guy here somewhere. All right, we're gonna have to find a proper way to deal with all this though. This game is not made for any type of stamina consumption, having to jump on top of it every time. And failing because I'm too impatient to wait. Alright, that progress is going again. I'm gonna collect some more sap and we can start crafting items that we want. It's about bloody time though. This episode's been taking quite a while. Alright, I should also start making some more of those sap collectors maybe. So I really wonder where the hell would we make magic weapons then? Something tells me we're gonna be making that here. <laughs> Something tells me I don't want to do it. No, because that means we need more black cores. And this is a black forge improvement, alright? Alright, let's make the armor set first then. Is that already it? Ah, that's because we ran out of iron, okay. So what does it take to upgrade these? A tier 2 one, okay. Okay, let's see, let's make the helmet. Before we upgrade it though, 
uh, it will just be as good as what we are currently wearing. But at least this means we have another proper set of armor to protect us. Which means we can dump this in the chest that we'll wear when we die, which will probably happen quite often. Let's see, and then I'm going to look into upgrading. So we only need marble and copper, eh? That's not that bad. What is quite bad though is that we only have like one copper left after this. Which uh, kinda yikes. Although we have a black forest here and I specifically marked a copper vein. Which I probably did because we were running low back then as well. Okay, so luckily upgrading doesn't cost that much. It still costs the heights. It doesn't take any of the tissue, which is good. Actually, no, it does take the soft tissue. I'm fucking stupid. Because we need these fucking balls for it. I could be making a mist walker, which seems pretty cool. And there we go. We now have the mist walker. Is it better than what we currently have? It does seem like it is. Alright, so to upgrade we need more refined ether, some wisp, and some iron. Which actually isn't that bad, and it might do. Because a stronger weapon to kill everything in the mistlands with is better. Armor-wise, I doubt that a couple extra armor is really gonna change much. So I might just want to focus on my blade for now. And we can put the porcupine weapon back in the chest. So this sword looks pretty cool as well though, because look at that. Look at the glow that it has, it looks sick. All right, now that we have another goal set in mind, I think off camera I'm gonna try and find another one of those uh, dungeons. I'm gonna find a lot more of the skulls to get some soft tissue. Then next time we can finally go into magic, and I'll also uh, upgrade the current gear we have, as well as this sword. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.